Economists blame unexpected U.S. economic growth on luck and sanity. NYT, surprise U.S. economic growth due to luck and smart policies. The U.S. economy is growing faster than European countries, thanks to demographics, sound fiscal policy and good luck. The situation has become problematic for Trump it has become more difficult to criticize the White House, economists close to him admit. Inflation is falling in different countries of the world, economic growth remains stable everywhere, contrary to economists' forecasts, but experts from the Federal Reserve to the IMF are most surprised by the economic indicators of the United States, writes the New York Times. Compared to American indicators, the progress of Germany, Great Britain and other countries looks sluggish, the publication notes. Economists interviewed by the newspaper explained what was happening as the result of a combination of luck and common sense. One of the reasons for the success was fiscal policy, the U.S. authorities continued to spend a lot of money, recently the White House has begun large-scale investments in infrastructure and the fight for climate conservation. Some experts warn that this could be costly in the future due to rising national debt, but the presidential administration believes that success is worth it. Another reason is that Europe was more dependent on Russian energy resources. Last year, 68% of European companies faced an increase in energy prices by a quarter or more, while in the US only 30% of enterprises reported a similar problem. The stability of the American economy is due to isolation from the volatility of global energy markets and other factors, explained IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva. There were good economic forces and wins in the sales of the United States, she added. In the United States, 353,000 new jobs appeared in January, this number was twice as high as expected. The trend was stunning and speechless, Jeffrey's economist Tom Simons told the Financial Times. The yield on the benchmark 10-year Treasury note rose to 4.001% from 3.862%, according to trade web data from the Wall Street Journal. Yields rise when bond prices fall. The stock market has reached a series of all-time highs, and wages for American workers are once again beginning to outpace inflation, Politico notes. Those close to former President Donald Trump's campaign admitted in a conversation with the publication that it is now more difficult to criticize the work of current President Joe Biden. I think this is the main question of the day. You can't blame the president when a policy goes wrong and then say he's not responsible when it goes well, said FreedomWorks economist Stephen Moore, who is close to the Trump campaign. Trump has already said that the rise in stock markets is associated with the expectation of his victory in the presidential election in November, but economists, including among his supporters, have rejected these claims, the newspaper notes. I wouldn't put this forward as my main argument. The economy is good because of something in the future is generally not a good argument, said Pennsylvania GOP strategist Charlie Jarrow.